What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and first off, thank you all very much for uh, watching my Norway Mavic Air drone video. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Anyway, for the tutorial today, what I'm gonna do is uh, teach you guys something that I did with the Norway drone that I'm talking about. Uh, basically, I had this footage here of Norway and as you can see, I'm gonna control F, you're gonna see that it's really blue around this area here. Now, I know, I understand it could have a little bit of blue, but it's just the camera's lack of translating this because it was in a shadow and my white balance was set to auto. So the white balance there was really blue. Now you can leave this as is, but I'm gonna try and teach you guys today how to get rid of this. There's probably a lot of ways how to do this, but I'm gonna teach you the two ways that I know of that are really easy to do in a free software called DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna go ahead and control F and we are in DaVinci Resolve here. I'm gonna assume that you know DaVinci Resolve. If you don't, check out my other tutorials. I have a lot of DaVinci Resolve tutorials from start to end. So let's go ahead and uh, create a node for this, Alt S, and we are in the uh, color tab. And I'm not gonna show you how to color grade. I'm just gonna show you how to get rid of this blue cast, okay? So the first way we're gonna do, um, I mean, let me show you something real quick. Some of you might go, might say, oh, that's in the shadow side. Let's go ahead and adjust the lift and get rid of that. And control F, you see that that works before and after as well. That works, if that looks good for you, you can tweak it a little bit more. And, and if that works, then that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna show you two other methods on how to tackle this issue because you're probably gonna run into something like this with a Mavic Air or any other drones. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go to this uh, qualifier here, and we're actually gonna qualify these area here, okay? We're gonna shift H, that's gonna isolate our selection. Okay, that's a pretty good selection there. You can tweak it a lot more, but I just want this to be fast and just blur it a little bit. I'm gonna blur it to like 30. Like I said, you can tweak these, but I'll leave that to you. Shift H. Now that we have the selection, we can go to our primary wheels, offset, and now we can go the opposite of blue until that cast is gone, right? <coughs> Shift H, right? Control F, make it bigger. Before, after before, after. A lot better, right? That's awesome. So that's one method. Real quick, just with two clicks, you're, got, you're done. We're gonna delete that node, create another node, Alt S. The second method is using this here, the curves. And you're gonna go to custom, and you're gonna do uh, U versus, versus saturation. Holy crap, I can't talk. Same exact way, we're gonna go ahead and sample that. And you're gonna see this little thing. If you drag this circle down, that is gonna decrease the saturation of your selection. Control F, before, after. Just like that, right? And if you go up, it's gonna increase the saturation, right? I hope you guys learned something new today. I hope this helped you guys out with your future movies. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys later. Peace.